um, uh, so we've we've heard uh, countless examples over the years of problems of people having uh, delays in getting immediate needs assessments. Um, Christopher's case is one of the more extreme examples that I've seen. So generally, delays are you know between one and three weeks. Um, Christopher's delay of five weeks is is quite extreme. The government service standard, which they have posted on their website and in all of their policies relating to imme immediate needs assessments, is that they'll provide um, assistance to meet the immediate need within one business day. Well, it really started in the fall, in September. I had just recently come back from a trip and I'd spoken with my job developer who was confident once I got back I would get a job and um, you know I didn't uh, suspect I would need to depend on income assistance and when I came back I was looking for a job but uh, I wasn't able to find work. By the end of September I was freaked out <laughs> and <laughs> decided I had to apply for you know some last-minute assistance and so I said you know what's happened with my file I submitted it online you know I don't understand what's going on and so they guess they found some other process and tried to again we're looking for my file number I wish they asked again and again I said you haven't sent me the file number I don't know what the file number is I sent in my application at the end of September but they sort of kept asking me the same questions and I didn't have the answers to them it felt like they were just trying to make more excuses saying oh well uh, you know we can't do this because we don't have the file number or we can't do it because of this this and this and the uh, the service itself was very frustrating I was very fed up with the system you mentioned getting three eviction notices how how else did this delay affect affect you it was a huge effect on me I didn't have money for food um, I was frightened about what was going to happen with eviction. I mean, I felt I might face homelessness. I didn't know where I was going to keep my furniture, all of my belongings, my clothes. I felt like I was going to lose everything and live on the streets. Um, I didn't have money for food. So I felt uh, very depressed. It was an extremely emotional time. Unfortunately, Christopher's case is not unique, but um, uh, it does happen a lot. Uh, but we think that the because he is deaf and because he had communication uh, barriers that the delays were more significant for him than they have been for some other people. Um, Christopher, in, through his case, is interested in trying to improve the application process um, for all people who need income assistance, not just himself and, and other people who are deaf, but for all people. Um, and so we're hoping through the complaint that that we'll be able to get some systemic change.